it's Nicole the Math Lady and we're here today to talk about the order of operations. So let me give you a few numbers. Let's say we have the number 7 minus 4 plus 3. Well typically we start on the left and work our way right just like reading. So let's do it. 7 minus 4 is 3. 3 plus 3 equals 6. All right, but let's take the same problem. We're going to add something to it. Let's say we did 7 minus parentheses 4 plus 3. So whenever we have parentheses, we, here's the rule, we do what's in the parentheses first. Parentheses are telling us to do what's inside of it first. So let's do it. 4 plus 3 is 7. And then we have 7 minus 7 equals 0. Same numbers, different answer. And that's all due to the parentheses in the order of which we did the operations. So, remember the rule? Do what's in the parentheses first. Let's see if this uh, you know, makes sense with multiplication and division just as well. Let's try it. Let's say I had the number 8 divided by 2 times 4. Here we go. Let's start left to right. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4 times 4 equals 16. Now let's take those same numbers and add some parentheses. And I'm going to add my parentheses around the 2 and the 4. Which means we always do what? We do what's in the parentheses first. So here we go. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 divided by 8, we know, is 1. Look at that. Same numbers, different answer. So, it makes sense. You have to always pay attention. Do I have parentheses? And if I do, I've got to do what's in the parentheses first. I want to show you one more thing regarding the order of operations. Let's say we're dealing specifically with just addition. So I'm going to add the numbers 2 plus 5 plus 3. And I'm going to add some parentheses around the 2 and the 5. That would give me 2 plus 5 is 7 plus 3, it gives me 10. Now, as I told you, we always do what's in the parentheses first because it might give us a different answer. But let's say I take these same numbers and I change the parentheses to put them around the 5 and the 3. Let's see if our answer changes. 2 plus 8, 8 plus 2 is 10. Oh, look at that. Our number did not change and we had parentheses. How can that be? Well, that means that with addition, we have something called the associative property of addition. That means it doesn't matter in which order you do the numbers in the parentheses it still will equal the same number. Now you need to know this does not work for subtraction. What about multiplication and division? Well, let's take these numbers, the same numbers that we have, and we're going to do it just for multiplication. So we're going to do 2 times 5 times 3. Here we go. 5 times 2 is 10 times 3 equals 30 on this side. Let's do the other side. We do what's in the parentheses first. So 5 times 3 is 15 times 2 equals 30. Look at that. Multiplication also has an associative property, which means it doesn't matter if we're dealing strictly with multiplication, the order in which we handle multiplying them. But what about division? Does this count for division? No, it does not. So the associative property applies to addition and multiplication. And there you go, that's part one of our order of operations. Pretty simple. That's it. See you later.